Are you struggling as a coach to get enough clients to make enough revenue? I'm going to show you the tried, tested, and true way to move away from one-to-one -one coaching to group coaching that's actually more effective for your clients and more effective for you because you can make the money, the purpose, the impact that you truly want to make to help people, help you, help your family, help your community. So my name is Sarah May Ives. I help women to make the changes required to live what they feel like is an exceptional life. I help men too, but predominantly women are, they fall into the orbit of my story. Okay, so if you like this content, don't forget to subscribe, hit that notifications bell, leave a comment or like or share this video. I would be so grateful as that will help us to impact more people overall. Number one, I want to talk about why moving to a group coaching program is going to be far better, more effective, more profitable than doing one-to-one -one coaching sessions. Now, here's the thing. I'm not saying one-to-one -one is useless. In fact, as a new coach, one of the best things you can do is one-to-one -one coaching. And the reason why is because you get to talk directly to your clients, figure out what they're struggling with, figure out the recipes that work, how to communicate what works. And generally it just helps the process to go better in the beginning when you are still perfecting your offers. Now here's the thing, once those start to work on a regular basis, you're going to quickly notice that your time is maxed out. You can only coach so many people one-to-one -one in a week. Here's the thing with one-to-one, -one, as amazing as it can be at the beginning, for your clients, it can actually be less effective because they don't necessarily know the questions that they are supposed to ask. In my program, I have a group program, a group mentorship that trains women on how to start profit profitable ads manager businesses. Now we have calls every single day of the week where people show up and ask their questions. And here's the thing, when it comes to one-on-one, -on -one, and I, by the way, have done years of one-to-one -one coaching and also years of group coaching. And by far, the people in the group coaching program progress faster. The reason why is they are hearing other people ask questions that they would have had no clue to ask in the first place. So it's almost almost like if you want to learn a language, they say, move to France. If you want to learn how to speak French, move to France for a year. And by the end of the year, you'll be fully immersed in France and speaking French. Here's the thing. The same principles are true for starting a new business and learning the skills required for that new business. So when you join a group call, you not only get to ask your own questions, but you also get to hear the highly intelligent questions from other people that are in the program. Now, of course, this won't happen overnight, but you can definitely launch your first group program to start on a certain date and then have a minimum of say five people that are going to join before you start it. It's completely up to you. You really could even start with three people. It makes no difference. That's why group coaching can be far more effective and advantageous for absolutely everyone, you and client, and eventually what they want to do. So you might be thinking, well, how do I transition from one-to-one -one coaching to a group program? I'm going to tell you right now, and I'm assuming the majority of people watching this are a coach of some sort. Maybe you're a relationship coach, maybe you're a business coach, maybe you're a fitness coach. There could be all kinds of coaches who would benefit from this model. So first and foremost, you want to take the curriculum that you have from your one-to-one -one sessions, essentially the core components of what you want to teach people on, and you want to break it up by week. Another little expert pro tip is you do not have to have your whole program built out. You only need two weeks in advance to start your group program as long as you commit to a content creation day every week so that when your participants make it to week three, you've already had a chance to generate that content. So a place that I've seen many of my clients get stuck because I am an ads manager and I run ads for companies and sometimes clients will say to me, well, I need to create my entire program before I launch it. And I'm like, nope, you need to create the first two weeks and then you need to commit to continuing to do a weekly content creation because of course you're dripping out that content week by week. When I started my ads manager training program, I did exactly that. I created the first week or three weeks and then beyond that, I just kept creating, creating, pushing it out. The first run of it was really just based on me creating in real time. And then of course, after that, it was already, it was set it, forget it, it's done. 
when it comes to your curriculum, you want to be really clear on where is the client at now, where do I want them to be, and what is the work that is required, what is the learning that is required for them to get there, and can I put this into six to eight or 12 easy sessions. Those are typical time frames that work well when you're trying to put together a coaching program, so six to eight or 12 weeks max. This also helps people to visualize where they are going to be in a relatively short time frame so that they don't get fatigued or just like, oh, this is going to be a four-year degree and that's kind of a little bit discouraging. So then you're going to put that content slotted in week by week. You can always make adjustments in the future if needed. And then of course, you're going to take, instead of doing the one-to-one -one sessions, you're going to actually have office hours, open office hours each week. So in the beginning of my program, I had two call times per week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I would meet with people at 12 p.m. I think it was, and then we would answer all their questions. We would record the calls so we could put it into the folder afterwards for people that weren't able to make the live call. You can also let people know that they can submit their questions in advance, even if they're not going to be at the call, and you will answer it on the live call as well, and all they have to do is watch the replay. You really want to make office hours instead of one-to-one -one call times where everyone can come together and ask their questions. Now at this point you might be thinking, okay Sarah, but if I do that, how will I deal with the fact that some people will be at different parts in the learning process as others? So some coaches launch at a set date, right? Maybe you start December and you're done by end of February. Well, the thing with that is that it limits you as a coach to how many people you can help because you have these opened and closed launch dates. It works for some people, but I'm not fond of it because of how limiting it can be again to the people that join. So for my program, we have a rolling enrollment. People can join any time of the year and pick up no matter where people are at in the calls. So the way you would structure this is the calls can be more advanced or more beginner. You could have, say for example, one beginner call a week on Tuesday and one more advanced call on Thursday. Now everyone can join, even advanced people could join the beginner call. It's just that the beginner questions would get priority. And then likewise, beginner people could join the advanced call, but the advanced questions get priority. When you fashion things this way, it also means that no matter where the person is in their journey, they can still join the live support calls and ask the questions that they need to ask. And again, this is brilliant because then people get to learn from the people that are actually doing. It also means sometimes people join your program and they think they're going to be able to do the work and then they can't. And then they come back six months later and that's where you can be like, no problem, attend the calls no matter where you are at on your journey. And it works. That's the most important ingredient is to change the one-to-one -to, -one to the group sessions. Have them recorded. Another key component to moving away from one-on-one -on -one coaching is to also put that curriculum into an online learning portal. We use the Kajabi software. You can also use software that Go High Level has. There's many different like membership sites. And so that's where you will have your core curriculum videos in that online portal. So again, they can work on that throughout the week. So now you've got your online learning portal with your curriculum recorded. Again, you don't have to record it all, just a week at a time. Secondly, you're gonna have the office hours instead of the one-to-one -one appointments. And then thirdly, I highly recommend this for your group program, and that is to have a community. Traditionally, a lot of communities happened on Facebook, and they still do. We have an amazing Facebook group with hundreds of ads managers that support each other, ask questions, answer questions. We've got amazing group moderators. It's really one of the most incredible parts of the program, and I love the people in the questions they ask and the way they contribute. Nowadays, you don't even have to use a Facebook community. Um, many softwares have it built in, like Kajabi, for example. You can have your course content and then a community that is associated with that, and then they just have to download the app to join that community. So it really doesn't matter what community software you use, just so long as there is a community. That can be tremendously helpful. When you fashion things in this way, so you've got three core things, your curriculum, your live support calls, and your group, where they can ask questions on the in-between times, that's where you can now start to charge more. So one-to-one, -one, I mean, if you're lucky, you'll get a few hundred per session, whereas this way, you're going to have, for example, 12 weeks of support with all of these features, and depending on the transformation that you're providing, maybe it's you're gonna meet the love of your life, or maybe it's gonna, you're going to have the business of your dreams, then you can actually charge appropriately for the type of support and time that they get. And that's where if you don't have a call booking funnel, I do have another video on how to create a call booking funnel. And that's where you can pitch this product, this 
a mentorship at thousands of dollars instead of hundreds of dollars. And then when the commitment is higher on the price, people tend to do better because they think, okay, I didn't just put like 27 bucks into a program. I have, I am so guilty of buying cheap program after cheap program. And I just forget that I even bought it until a year later, I see the ad again. I'm like, wait, didn't I buy that? And I completely forgot that I had it. So when someone makes a bigger financial commitment, they're more invested in their success. They're more likely to show up, be happy, give you feedback. You can give them feedback and everybody's happy. And I mean, on the live support calls, you might start Start out with five people you might get up to 10 people or heck even 20. I actually started getting up to 30 people on my calls so then what I did is I added more calls to my training program so now we have calls Monday we have two calls Tuesday we have one call Wednesday we have one Thursday we have one Friday we have one so basically you now we have a call at least every day of the week because now the program has grown and grown I add support calls as needed so that people are always able to get on ask their questions and get a real value from the program I hope that this has really helped you to think about how you're going to deliver your group program that changes lives. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments. I would be so happy to help you out. If you want to learn more about what I do, I'll link to my free guide in the description so that you can download the free guide. Again, if you love this video, like it, comment, share it, consider subscribing. Have an amazing rest of the day. And I am truly so grateful that you decided to spend it with me. Have an awesome day. See you in the next video.